Well, we're on the phone with John Clegg. Uh, some of you may have seen John on Britain's Got Talent um, either on Saturday, I think it was. Is that right? Uh, no, it was Monday. It was on the bank holiday Monday. Bank holiday. That's it, the bank holiday Monday. Now, we thought you were absolutely yeah. amazing, John, and we've seen you in pantomime so many other times and always thought that you were absolutely full of talent. How was it stepping on stage? Well, I mean, it's an absolute adventure, I have to say. You know, you know doing the whole audition process through to the next round and then being put into the live semi-final, uh, performing on that stage live in front of millions of people with just, I mean, it's just mind-blowing, really. I, I can't even describe you how they ever thought what I was like that. But even though, you know, I've been on stage thousands of times, but the, the thought of 10, 11 million people watching live on TV was uh, a little bit mad. Because you, you always look, you well, to us, you've always just looked so at home on stage. When you've been performing at the Hawth, it's almost like, you you know, the stage was built around you rather rather than the other way around. But you were really yeah. that nervous? I, was, I mean, I was really, I was really nervous. You always get a little bit nervous when you're on stage, you know, just to get the adrenaline going. Um, but I, I think because it was just something that I had always wanted to do, and I was just so excited about it, you know, I can imagine how nervous you were. Well, I'd like to say you didn't look it. You were absolutely fantastic. And um, oh, we're, just, we're, we're obviously gunning for you to get the wild card because, as some people may not know, um, you were down to the top three and then, sadly, just voted you off, didn't they? I know. They voted it. Well, the judges actually voted. Um, there was a split decision. Uh, I had two judges voting for me and two judges voting for me. Oh, that's but, right, um, yeah. But I, I lost it on the original um, phone vote on the back of that. You are going to get the wild card if we have anything to do with it. I'm, I'm telling you now, we will not rest until you've got the wild card, John. We really won't. Now, you're, you're, oh, you're, you're back to normal now, aren't you, in a sense? You're back to reality. You're off now to do a fantastic show for hundreds of people doing what you love best. Whereabouts are you tonight? Uh, I'm off to it. Uh, it's, it's all glamour. I'm going to Skegness. Um, I'm, there, I'm there for two nights, but I'm doing the Buckley. And do they actually realise that they've paid, you know, just a, a, a normal booking fee to go and see one of the most famous impressionists going at the moment? Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure they're rubbing their hands. <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, to be fair, I, I've done Buckley gigs for so many years, they've always been really great to me. So, uh, yeah, absolutely fine with that. I, I can't wait to get there and perform yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. Well, we met Steve Mulhern recently, and oh, yeah. uh, and of course he made his name doing, you know, the Butlins and so on as well. He loved it. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I saw him on, on Monday night at the, uh, the studio, and we had a good chat. And, uh, yeah, he was, he was very nice to me, very encouraging as well. He, you know, when he saw my room, he just went, you're going to be absolutely amazing, you're going to blow them away. He's such a nice guy, and, uh, you know, he's, he's very supportive of acts like me who have, you know, worked in the circuit for 14, 15 years and, uh, you know, working hard for a living and uh, just doing what we do, getting up on stage and entertaining people. He, he's amazingly uh, supportive of us as well, weirdly enough. I mean, you know, when nobody worldwide or massive or famous, but... Like you say, he's really down to earth and very supportive of uh, up and coming talent. Oh, he is, yeah, 100%. And of course, he was at, uh, at the Hawks at Crawley last year, wasn't he? He was indeed, yes, he was indeed. And we saw him, and I do believe he is returning again this year. Yes, that is right, yeah, he's going back there again this year, isn't he? Yeah, he told us that he loved the horse. He loves coming to Crawley. Well, I, I mean, I, I loved it as well. Four years doing Panto and the horse and uh, had a fantastic time here. I have to say, they, they do have the, quite literally the friendliest crew you could ever meet at the horse. They are just fantastic. I'm such a good time with them down there. But that is, of course, my, my original hometown. I live in Brighton now, but uh, I grew up in Crawley. I was born in Crawley Hospital. Uh, I lived for most of my childhood in, in Hawley, just up the road, four miles up the road from Crawley. Um, 
and I, you know, I did return to courses, worked at work for a few years, trying at the stage, went off to work abroad and uh, went into show business. Yeah, well, we still think of you as a local lad. You, you've got yeah. massive support. I hope you've seen it on our Facebook page that, that you have <laughs> immense support from the public in Crawley. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it's great. My parents still live in Hawley and uh, I've got a huge family as well around that area. Uh, my mum had six sisters and my dad had two sisters. They all had kids, they had two kids. And uh, so many of them that still live around Hawley and Crawley and uh, even down in Horsham as well, various places. But yeah, I've got a huge family in, in Hawley and Crawley. So uh, yeah, it's always good to go back there. Yeah, lovely. Well, we look very much forward to seeing you, A, come back to the hall very soon. I really hope you don't get too famous and forget about us. <laughs> oh, is it, did I ever forget about calling Happy Times? No way. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. No. That's <laughs> excellent. Well, listen, you have a fantastic evening entertaining those people. How lucky they are that they're going to get to see you tonight. Oh, bless you. And we would like to thank you so much and wish you all the best. Oh, thanks very much. Love you, Luke. Love you too. Thank you. Bye, Andrew. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. bye.